Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Sagittarius. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I I turned up four cards for you in your honor um, to see what kind of reading we're gonna get, what it may have to do with, what you can look at that might need to change, or things you need to be aware of or that you suspect and this may be confirmation for you. So we have passionate, wish granted, rare and dazzled. Okay, we have heal past lives or past situations through inner work. And I feel like you might be coming in Sagittarius to a past life union, okay? Fortune, goodwill, a turning point and destiny are here. Doors will open, but there are some ch the chakras that are blocked that need to be checked. So if you don't know which chakras you have blocked, then you can always do some guided meditations to unblock those. Ah, the fault line. You may have to pick a side here with when it comes to your person, whether you are on the same side as what they've drawn a line in the sand. Let's see. We have the animal and we have the bardo. And bardo is, uh, it's after death, but before birth. So it's kind of like a life review with the eye there, the skulls, who you may have hurt, killed, or um, done wrong to. Now, this could be in your past life. It also could be in this lifetime. The animal, you have good instincts, I feel like. You see things for what they may be. Um, I don't feel like you miss a trick. You, you see what you need to see. You may even have a certain type of eye color that most people don't. The maiden. You may have an idea who this maiden is to you. Who and what they mean to you. What else for Sagittarius? Well, that's a lot. Spirit. Yeah, I'm not taking all of those, but let's see if they'll give me any more messages for you. I got a couple more cards, please. Thank you. Mm. You may have to look at your self-worth. You may not have a lot of self-worth for yourself. You may have some type of regret, despair of something maybe you've done that you've not forgiven yourself for. Seek forgiveness through spirit, through your higher self to help Heal yourself, heal and transmute that negative energy and pour it into yourself. Yeah, you've climbed the mountain. You may even be a goat. You may be a Capricorn. You are a Sagittarius, but you may have Capricorn heavily in your chart, maybe your sun sign. It could also be that there's something that you're going to have to climb to become king. I feel like if you are a feminine, I feel like this is your person coming. They may have been an orphan. They may have been. Um, they may have been um, adopted. They may have uh, issues when it comes to abandonment. It could also mean that. that they were taken from their family in some way, shape, or form, or felt abandoned by them. Yeah, the venom. Medallion. I feel like greed is a part here. When it comes to the medallion, I feel like there's venom here because they want what you have. Venom. They want to poison, 
poisoned something here, your mind, about somebody wanting to take your money when in reality it is them who wants your money or doesn't want you to have it. The ocean. Be careful around this person when it comes to the ocean or a body of water. I feel like there may be a warning here for you, Sagittarius. Let me get one more card. Oh, that was a lot. More than I wanted, but we'll go with it. Hmm. Your person may be a mystic. They may have the gift of sight. They may, oh, you may have vowed to this person in a past life that you would find one another again in this life. This may be your ninth time you've been to earth with this person. They may have died in the last lifetime or perhaps you did. They may even be the mother of your children or is just a mother of children. And you like the fact that they have children. Yeah, you see them as very sweet, loving, and nurturing. You see them as the nectar. Wow. Sagittarius, what is going on here? Let's see what we can find out. Yeah, somebody was left out in the cold or left in poverty, maybe in the last lifetime. But there's justice here, something balanced. Balanced out for you or your person here. Magician in reverse. Yeah, there may have been a pattern of cheating in a past life which may affect your person in this lifetime. They may get trigger, triggered quite easily and may have had a life of every man they've been with has cheated on them. They've never had a victory and wouldn't know what true love is. They've never experienced it. They've always had somebody hurt them. You may want to go towards this person. You have that sexual desire towards this person. You may just want to come in and have fun and be on your way. What's going on here for Sagittarius? Oh, we have the King of Pentacles out here. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. And we have the strength card in reverse. And what this is telling me is somebody has fear and a lack mindset when it comes to <clears throat> challenges. I kind of feel like they don't have a lot of hope or courage to come forward. They feel like there's not going to go in their favor. What's on the bottom of the deck? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles is here. This is your person. This is your person you're sweet on. They may be a mother. They may be a entrepreneur. They may be making their own money and willing to share. I kind of feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, she's very practical, trustworthy, resourceful. She's not going to, she'll have material success, but she's gonna be loyal. I don't feel like she would be someone that would, would do anything to harm you that way. Definitely would not cheat on you. She's a financial provider, material success. She may be her own boss. You may have your own company. But somebody's 
gotten justice here from somebody that cheated on them. They may feel like they won't get a victory here, but they still want to win at all cost here with the chariot. This is loyal cancer, cancerian energy. This is a journey of independence, ambition, and high stakes. But with the Knight of Wands here, it's it just seems like it's It might actually be some travel. This person might be traveling toward you. This also could be some alternative plans or they're unable to do something because maybe they're not at home right now. This might even be a stranger or some type of disruption that comes. You may not know this King of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Mm. Out in the cold because somebody, there was no love there. What's this justice card here? Temperance in the reverse. This is Sagittarius, adventurous energy, but this is conflicts they're having here. Some impatience and some recklessness here. What is this magician in reverse, please? Somebody cheated, maybe wasted their talents on something or some type of illusion. They cheated, but deep down in their desires here with the devil in reverse, this is ambitious Capricorn energy. This is independence, freedom, and an ending. Somebody's ended something here. Somebody that was cheating on them. This could be this Queen of Pentacles, or it could be the King of Pentacles. This is a new person, this King of Pentacles. Victory is in reverse, though. I feel like this person... Hmm. Six of Swords in reverse, or Six of Wands in reverse, sorry. This may have been an ego hit to this person that there was some type of cheating going on here. And somebody may have cheated on this King of Pentacles here or this King of Pentacles was cheating. But this is a new person. Why is the Nine of, of Wands in reverse? That's somebody that's giving up or there's some challenges here. What are the challenges here for this King of Pentacles? Hmm, happiness. To be happy. This person is very unhappy where they're at. This King of Pentacles. Now, whether that is you. Yeah, okay. So, well, the chariot, I mean, that is somebody that wants to do an independent journey, high stakes journey, ambitious. But with the death card here, it's been shut down. This is an ending. An ending to this happiness or unhappiness. This is an ending to being unhappy. With the chariot? Somebody might be trying to stop your independent journey here. What's the Knight of Wands? Now this could be a stranger coming in or somebody arriving that's been away. We've got the Three of Wands in reverse though. This is somebody unexpected. This is somebody you don't see coming. You may not have waited for this person. You have your boundaries up. That's good. This is King of Pentacles. Five of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that has rec um, regret and reconciliation. This might be somebody 
that was new to you, but maybe couldn't come forward. Maybe their job held them back. They weren't able to come to you yet. Why is the Nine of Wands in reverse? Why is that in reverse? Why is the Nine of Wands in reverse? Nine of Pentacles in reverse now, okay. So this may be codependency, um, giving up on somebody that's codependent or they're codependent to something here, they're giving that up. They may be with somebody that was codependent or they have codependent issues that they need to figure out. What is this Nine of Pentacles in reverse? Knight of Wands. So this may have to do with just in and out type of behavior. They may have given that up. They may have given up codependency. And they may have given up this type of behavior, this in and out behavior, here for a good time, not a long time, right? Could be they've given up codependency in order to find their way here. To travel. They've given up money to travel. They've given up codependency. They may be with somebody. This is my single card and when it's in reverse they may still be attached to somebody just for sex. What's this strength card in reverse? This might have been a co um, codependency as uh, friends with benefits. What's this strength card in reverse? Yeah, wanting that equal give and take, but not having the courage to find it, to go after it. What is this six of pentacles? They may not be able to, they may be stuck. Yeah, they want this person, whoever I'm talking to, whether it's the masculine or the feminine, I feel like you both want equal give and take when it comes to love. And you're both a little worried about having the courage to do it because you don't want to get heartbroken again. Where's the Three of Swords here? If this is a fairly new person, I feel like, yeah, broken heart and they're not working. Something to do with not having to work maybe when they get into this love, their equal give and take, maybe they want to retire so they can spend their time with you. This could be an older person. With the Queen and King of Pentacles, they are people that are uh, 30s and up kind of energy here. Yeah, they don't want you to walk away. Eight of Cups in reverse. So they may have low self-worth esteem. So yeah, low self-esteem here. I kind of feel like it has to do with that. This person may be very jealous too if they're in reverse with this Nine of Pentacles. They could be jealous and unavailable. They don't want you to walk away. They may want to retire and they want to love that, but they're afraid. That's why the courage is in reverse. They don't want to have a broken heart again because, yeah, they, I feel like they're not sure it's going to work out, but they don't want you to walk away. And that's for sure with the eight of cups here in reverse, they're fearful of change or they just have self-limiting beliefs about themselves. They do want to get married to this Queen of Pentacles or this King of Pentacles. There is marriage here, but I feel like there's some things that need to be overcome here and people that are no longer in this person's energy that need to die off here in order to get this equal give and take love. 
without any heartbreak here. They're, they're going to be heartbroken if this doesn't work. And their self-esteem may suffer even more if it doesn't. They do want to marry you. I feel like they feel like you are the one. This is from a past life. I really am getting that here, Sagittarius. Let's do some butterflies and let's finish this up. What else can you tell me for Sagittarius? Self-employment. So your person or you, Sagittarius, are self-employed. And that's what we get with the Queen and the King of Pentacles. Somebody good with money. Now, one of you may be spiritual and the other one religious. So you may have some, not arguments, but discussions. There's some sentimental feelings here. So this could be somebody that you met that things didn't work out. Maybe you didn't get to really know this person. Or they may know you more than you know them. Haha, <laughs> looks like they may find that courage after all to come forward. One of them to reach out. Let's see. Oh, heavenly signs is in the heart of the reading. So look for the signs. Somebody's trying to tell you something here. Your angel spirit guides are trying to get your attention. You may have been working really hard. You may need to get some rest, take a break, go out for dinner, go see friends, go for a drink, do something to get away from something here. Yeah, there may be some body changes here that you do. Maybe you get some work done. Maybe you end up just having a new exercise program. You may even get into a new career, Sagittarius, doing something completely different than you thought realizations and epiphanies and I feel like you're going to realize that if you don't put yourself out there nothing will ever come if you don't try you'll never succeed so I feel like you're getting some realizations and epiphanies about people in your life you're seeing what you truly desire and I feel like that's going to push you into doing yeah the changes that you want. You want a family. There's a change here. You want to have where you come home and your wife is there and your kids are there and the family life, the marriage life, traditional life. I love it. I feel this is coming in for you. Oh, that is so awesome. Let's get some other cards here and just to get a few more answers. Self-employment here. <laughs> Self-employment and the door to romance. Wow. <laughs> 33, another master number. Wow. This is their ascended masters are helping you guys here. Or you may find out you are an ascended master. You could look up what ascended masters are and how that might relate to you. Religion and spirituality. Mm. Fifth chakra. Yeah, this is to do with your voice. You may need to speak up about some type of envious person around you. Somebody that's envious of what you're getting or coming into. They do not want you to do this. You may have sentimental feelings for this person. They might be a friend or a family member. But they are trying to get you off track here. Yeah, you need to appreciate your person. I feel like standing up for them is the biggest start here to restoring whatever cooperating and having some harmony with this person with the number six there we have number two yeah this has to do with this partnership duality and balance they're envious of this and then we have number 12 that breaks down to a three, which they may even have more than one person trying to stop this union to come together here. 
because number three is about creativity, groups, and growth. I feel like it has to do with more than one person here that is envious of this union. I feel like you appreciate this person. Yeah, but this is just an attachment. Number five, this is where things need to change. This is instability and some type of conflict. This has to do with someone getting in the way of your wish or your grant, your wish that was granted to you. This, whatever it was you prayed for. Maybe you prayed for a person to come in for you to love. Yeah, there may be some financial constraints coming out of a situation here in order to step through this door to romance. You may be working quite a bit and with this attachment that you have here, they may see fit to go after you for all your money or to have it so you have less money to go to your new person with. Yeah, your person is truly gifted here. They have that seventh chakra open, their crown chakra. They are attached to the spiritual realm here. Okay, and with number five, this is huge change spirit is condoning here. That this person is getting messages from the most high. They may be getting cautioned about this new person coming in yeah they're worried about heartbreak and the angel of love so this angel of love may have had her heart broken many many times by people but she still has faith and she still believes she still has the sight of divination and I feel like she still has her heart open to love regardless of how many times her heart has been broken yeah, this is the journey she's been on. This may have been what she's had to face as a curse on her family. And she's had to come through this journey here of the, all these broken hearts. She may not know what a good relationship looks like. I've had that in another reading too. Yeah, she's looking for that caring connection. And look at that. You're taking action to... The goddess of the moon who has intuition huge here this is a change this is number eight mastery action resolution you're moving forward towards your goddess of the moon with number seven that's reflection assessment knowledge and spirituality you may actually find yourself becoming spiritual because of this person this may be something that is meant to happen from the most high yeah, the door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like this person may be a healer. They may get information from spirit and just their light is someone that is able to assess things, has inner knowledge. It reminds me of the high priestess, knowledge, spirituality, reflecting, being fair. Um, hmm. With that high priestess, that's the moon. That has to do with matters of the heart, foresight, enlightenment. This person may be even kind of mysterious, have a lot of mystery that you want to find out about about this journey they are on. This might be a new career that you get into with your divine feminine or masculine. Take it how it resonates, whoever you are in the story. Do, you know, don't make it your story if it's not your story, of course. And of course, if it resonates, take what matters and leave the rest. But this is something very rare. This is like a diamond in the rough that dazzles and shows their light. Wow. I really like this for you, Sagittarius. I feel like good things are coming for you. 
I feel like you're going to get these wish granted. I feel like you may even be past some of this stuff where you may be wanting to connect with this angel of love here soon. But you have to go in the right way when it comes to the door to romance or you will not be able to walk through that door. Ask Ask Archangel Gabrielle to help you with your voice to speak up to people that are envious, to speak up to people that are trying to attach to their energy, and to speak up about their financial constraints, about changing those things. I feel like all that is going to change even your broken heart when you find this person. Your heartbroken heart is going to heal. And I feel with this angel of love, she is a true angel. And I feel like she's worked hard to get where she is. She's taken whatever pain of all these broken hearts that she's had people breaking her heart. I don't feel it's her. I feel like she's been just looking for love and just been used and abused her whole life when it came to love. And I feel like she really is taking on some type of family curse and has changed that now. Things are changing. I feel that changing in the air with this new year. This new year is going to be, for some people, the best year of their life. Wow. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to leave it on a positive note. Everything is changing. You're going to get that wish granted. You're very passionate about this person and their journey. I feel like you may have been watching this person with a lot of appreciation. It may even be through the years or you've looked for them. I kind of feel like it might be financial constraints that are keeping you from this person at this time until you sort that out. You may have been married to someone else that needs to have a divorce. You may lose financial um, money um, based on paying out to this other person. But I feel like once you do this, you're going to walk into something that you had no idea was for you. <laughs> Sagittarius, this looks amazing. <laughs> All right, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Give your girl that thumbs up. And thank you so much, everyone, for staying with me, sticking with me, and watching the readings. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk next time. Later.